Hello, it's time for News Hour on Soup News, your home for business and developmental news from around the globe. I am Grace Komolafe. We begin in Nigeria where Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, yesterday commissioned the Red Line Rail hosted by the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songwolu. This iconic feat, inaugurated by President Bola Tinubu, marks a significant milestone in the city's transportation infrastructure. During his inaugural speech, Tinumbu, who created La Mata some 20 years ago, during his administration as governor of the state, praised the Lagos Area Metropolitan Transport Authority, La Mata, and the Lagos State Government for their commitment to the project, emphasizing its potential to improve the lives of citizens. He noted that on the infrastructure development of the country, this stands as an evidence of dreaming in democracy. According to him, it is not a crime to dream, and when you dream, dream big. When you put people at the center, you will realize the value of democracy. He noted the progress the state has made starting from the realization of both rapid transport system, BRT, ferry, upgrading of road networks, stressing that Lagos will be written in gold. Speaking to Nigerians through the platform, the president noted that change is possible and change we must achieve. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonolu during his speech highlighted the modern engineering marvel of the red line stretching from Agbado in Ogun State to the iconic National Theatre in Igomu. The segment inaugurated covers 27 kilometers featuring state-of-the-art stations and overpasses designed to enhance traffic flow. With the introduction of the new train set and ongoing efforts to expand rolling stock, the red line aims to eventually transport up to over 500,000 passengers daily with such seven trips, promising significant benefits for commuters and the city's overall transportation system. The Nigerian Senate has passed a bill to establish a National Assembly Budget and Research Office. This office would provide independent analysis of the national budget and monitor its complementation, aiming to improve the legislature's engagement with the executive branch on financial matters. Supporters of the bill argued it would enhance transparency and accountability while also addressing past shortcomings in the House's ability to fully consider the economic impact of legislation. The bill has been referred to a committee for further review before potentially being sent to the president for his signature. Not leaving the House Green and Red Chambers yet, the Peter Speaker of the Nigerian House of Representatives Honorable Benjamin Kalu says that the amendment of Nigeria's 1999 constitution is on track for presidential assent by August 2025, pending voting on key issues by the legislators. He disclosed this during a press conference in Abuja, stating that the fourth draft report of the constitution review will be ready by August 2024, followed by subsequent drafts and zonal inputs. Kalu expressed optimism for a harmonized document by March 2025, with final copies of draft amendments expected by April. He emphasized the importance of public participation and called for submissions from various stakeholders to guide the committee's work. Thematic areas for review include federal structure, electoral reforms, socio-economic rights, and strengthening oversight institutions, among others. To ensure a comprehensive and inclusive constitutional revision process. And still around government, the federal government has threatened to withdraw the provisional licenses issued to private universities found to be operating outside the law and minimum standard set by the National University Commission, NUC. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahil Maman, who gave the warning, urged the Commission to intensify efforts on supervision and monitoring to ensure access to university education as well as increased enrollment, quality and relevance to national needs. The Minister advised that at the beginning of academic activities, the university should sustain funding towards infrastructure, equipment for teaching and living, as well as human resources up to a level that would end them full accreditation. Nigeria has imposed a $10 billion fine on crypto trading platform Binance over allegations of influencing the country's forex crisis. The special advisor to the president on information and strategy, Bayo Onanuga, who disclosed this in an interview, added that Binance profited substantially from 
its illegal transactions in Nigeria while the nation suffered huge losses. Ononuga claimed that Binance is not registered in Nigeria and has no presence in the country, alleging that people use the platform to arbitrarily fix dollar naira rates, a practice he said negatively impacted the value of the local currency. He explained further that the Binance team was already cooperating with the Nigerian government by providing useful information and had already suspended Naira-related transactions on the platform. Furthermore, the Office of the National Security Advisor confirmed that crypto exchange platform is being investigated by the Nigerian authority.